All right, so we're going to read from our uh, passage, and I believe Kinley is going to read first for us. Okay. No? All right, Axel's going to read first. Uh, read us the title. Exploring Mathematical Operations. Right. Yeah, you can start. In a fascinating world of mathematics, we encounter various terms and concepts that help us understand how numbers interact with each other. Today, we'll delve into some key terms often used in arithmetic. Exponent, product, median, subtrend, dividend, divisor. Let's start with the exponent. An exponent tells us how many times a number is <laughs> all right. known as known as the base is being multiplied by itself. For example, for example, in the expression p to the power of 3, the base is 2, and the exponent 3 instructs us to multiply 2 by itself 3 times, resulting in the product 8. Okay, and in parentheses it said what? 2, two times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, good. All right, Kinley? Now let's explore subtraction where we encounter two important terms, minuend and subtrend. The minuend is the number from which another number, the subtrend, is subtracted. For instance, in the subtraction problem 7 minus 4, the minuend is 7, and the subtrend is 4. When we subtract 4 from 7, we find the difference, which is 3. Okay. Moving on to division, we encounter the terms dividend, dividend. dividend and divisor. Say dividend. 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 All right. It's a number to be divided. And the divisor is the number by which we divide. In the division problem, 12 divided by 3, 12 is the dividend, and 3 is the divisor. The result of this division is, quotient, is the quotient, which in, the case, in this case is 4. All right. Do we have another volunteer to read the uh, last paragraph? Thanks. All right, Cole. Exponents guide us in repeated multiplication products are the result of multiplication. Minuends and subtrends are resolved in subtraction. subtraction. To find the differences and dividends and divisors work together and division can become quotient. Understanding these terms not only help us solve mathematical problems but also lay the foundation for more complex concepts as we continue our mathematical journey. Okay, all right, so one of the words that we did point out when we made the uh, audio of it was subtrahend. Ooh, look up, we got some. Santa Claus's uh, costume is making making some nice marks on the board. Fuzzy. Yeah. Fuzzy. Subtrahend, everybody say subtrahend. Subtrahend. All right. Now, find on the sheet where it defines subtrahend. Say it again. Subtrahend. All right. Find on the sheet where subtrahend was divided. Raise your hand if you found it. All right. Cole, read that sentence. For instance, in the subtraction problem, 7 is 12, the minimum is 7, and then subtrahend is 12. Okay. Where did it show where um, the word subtrahend is really, like, defined? It says the minuend is the number from which another number is subtracted. So, which one is the subtrahend? Is the subtrahend the one that's subtracted, or is the subtrahend the one that is subtracted from? The one that is subtracted from. Okay. Well, it's, what does it say? For instance, in the subtraction problem, 7 minus 4. Okay. The minuend is 7. And the subtrahend is 4. All right. So, so the subtrahend would be the one that is taken away. Yes. Let's use that. That's a good uh, way to put it into our terms, okay? The number 
Let me write these down. The number that is taken away from another number. All right, say subtrahend again. Subtrahend. All right, so if the subtrahend is the number that is taken away from another number, then in the problem, like it said, 7 minus 4, which one is the subtrahend? Which one is four. taken away? Four. Axel? Four. Four. All right, so this is our subtrahend. Say subtrahend again. Subtrahend. All right. So it's the number that is taken, taken away. away from another number. Correct. All right. So now they went on to explain the menu end. But the one we're concentrating on is this. And, it, and if you separate it on your sheet, sub, tra, and it has three syllables, okay? Sub, say that again, Cole, that was good. Sub, tra, hend. All right, very good. So when we pronounce it, we pronounce it that way. We pronounce it sub, tra, hend. We don't go sub, tra, hend. We go sub, tra, hend. Yeah, very good. All right, so... The sub aspect of this word, which we've explained before, is the prefix, okay? Anybody remember from your English class, is the prefix the part on the front of a stem or on the end of a stem, Cole? The front, yeah, there you see it on the front. And this word sub has the idea of under, or less. Isn't that interesting? The word sub has the idea of under. Right? And so we have words like what? Submarine. And that means under the, under the water. So we have subtraction. So we have things that are under. We have things that are taken away. But if we look at this as under or less, look at that, seven, and this minus four is three, what if we wrote it like this, is the subtrahend under the seven, yeah. yeah, so that's where that idea of the prefix sub comes from, it's the number that is under. It's the number that is less. It is the number. Your subtrahend right now is always going to be less than your menu end. It's always going to be less. Right. And that comes in seventh grade. So you won't have to worry about that right now. So it's always going to be under the menu end or the other number. All right, it's always going to be less. So all of our subtraction problems, the subtrahend is going to be less. The subtrahend is going to be under. So it's kind of a, is this kind of a definition you can understand, the number that is taken away from another number? Yeah. I think, you know, I think most of us could understand that. I mean, if I had you know, uh, a 10 up here and a five down here and we're subtracting, you know, the five is gonna be the subtrahend. What about, um, have you ever heard of this word before? Have you, have you, did you hear of it in fourth grade, subtrahend? No. No? No. no. Okay. Uh, I remember at the beginning of the year, we did see it once or twice in our book 
when we did our handouts, but you didn't get to see those pages. We didn't get to emphasize those. So could you spell the word if you didn't see it? What if I erase just part of it? Could you still spell the word? Yeah, probably. Okay, right, so we've, we've given you, we've given you what? Crossword puzzles with this word in it, right? We gave out a word search. Uh, some of you did a creative writing assignment where you used it in a creative sentence. Um, also, we did the uh, word spin game where you would define, remember where we, on the board where you spin. Yeah. And then we, did uh, trasket ball. We did trasket. Uh, trasket ball is a... Uh, that was fun. Favorite. Trasket ball is fun. It's uh, more fun when we get to use the big trasket ball, and I'll make sure we get to use that next time. So, what if I were to, like, just maybe erase part of the word? How many of you think you could still spell the word? <coughs> All right. Let, let, let me let you do it there, Santi. All right, you've got, you got uh, six of the letters. Pronounce it first, that'll help you, then spell it. Say it again. All right, nice and loud. Come on, you did it, you did it great. One more time. All right, you want me to call on somebody else? Okay. All right, at least spell it, at least spell it. The whole word. S-U-B-T-R-A-H-E-N-D. Very good. Very good. You didn't forget that part. So what about if I erase the first part of it? Is there anybody that could still spell it? I can spell the whole word. Me too. You can still spell the whole word? Yeah. All right. What is he doing to you? All right. Go ahead, Kinley. All right. Can anybody use it in a sentence? Oh, okay. She's still she still got the floor, and we'll let you do an example too, Axel. The subterranean of seven minus four is four. Okay. Very good. Axel, you want to do something? A different sentence? Yeah, that's okay. For instance, in the subtraction problem, seven minus four, the menu in the seven in the subtraction is four. Okay, all right. There's nothing wrong with that. He's he's reading the text. He's memorizing the text. That's important. Um, if you had to draw a picture, what would you draw to help you remember this word subtract? Somebody just give me an example. I'm not saying. You're going to have to do that right now, but you've got your sheet. A submarine. <laughs> okay, you might draw a submarine and, okay, write the word what? Submarine. Right, would you write this word on top of it? Like, some, like something big and then something small. Okay, just to help you remember it. All right. What else could you do? A subtraction problem. Okay, a subtraction problem. Very good. I'm still going back to that submarine. I like that submarine idea. What could you do with that? You could, could you put something over the submarine and then the submarine's under it? Okay. All right. All right. And then label it. Maybe label it. All right. That sounds good. Um, what about um, if you saw it? in a sentence are you more likely to understand its meaning now than before you ever saw it so if we had it on not just a crossword puzzle but we've done the fill in the blank if you saw it on a test and it just had the word subtrahend and we started erasing the numbers i mean the the words Little by little, could you get to where you could define it? 
Can anybody, can anybody say it with those two blanks missing? What? Oh, Wait, what? Okay. All right, Santi. The number. Which one? You said what? The. The. Number. The number. Say the whole thing. That is taken away from the number. And then pronounce the term. Subtrend. All right. All right. Anybody think they can do it? Without everything. With. Taken away. This right here taken away. Oh, it's a card. Why don't you use the circle thing? When you said taken away and it's taken away. Isn't that interesting when you yeah. use the word taken away? Yeah. All right. Anybody think they can say the definition now? Use the word before you start. All right. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Yeah. Try to do it by anybody. All right. I'm gonna erase another number, another word. I'm gonna erase another word. And put a blank there. Y'all, y'all get a quick look at it. All right. Who thinks they can do it now? Alright. Cool. Subtrahend, the number that is taken away from another number. Alright, very good, very good. Alright, you thought you could do it? You ready for one more word to be taken away? You notice how I'm using the word taken, take, words taken away? Hopefully that still gives you a hint. Alright, you ready? Alright, I'm going to let Santi try it. We're going to put a blank here. Just put a blank. Try to remember it. All right. Say our say our term and then fill in the blanks. Subtrahend the number that is taken away from another number. Very good. The number that is taken away from another number. All right. We'll get going. See, see how far we can get. Somebody who hasn't done it yet. I haven't done a blank one yet. Me too. You haven't done a blank one yet? Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Say the, word, say the term and then fill in the blank. Yes, she has. Something. The number that is taken away from another number. Okay, now do it without looking. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got it. The number that is taken away from another number. All right, that's much better. Much better. All right. You ready for You want to do it like it is? Ready? Say the word and then the definition. Very good. Very good. All right. We're going to erase another word. Anybody think they can do it? Me. I can do it. Show me. I want to do it. Do it. Ask me. Do it. have it. All right. Hey. No, I haven't done it. All right, Axel. You haven't done it. Okay, it is subtracted, but what did we say? What taken was our away. taken away? All right, very good. Oh, All, right. All right. Anybody else? Me. Okay. Yes. All right, say it like that with those blanks. Say the word. Say the word again. The number that is taken away from another number. All right, very good, very good. All right, we're getting close. We've only got one word left. I want to do it again. One word left. And it's subtract. All right, let's make these Wait, blanks. Have... Let's make these blanks a little clearer here. What are you talking about? All right, who thinks they can say it all the way through? Say the term and the definition. Me. All right, Nira. Uh, Very good. Can you take away the whole thing? All right, we're going to take away the final word, all right? Subtrahend. Which is our word what? Subtrahend. All right, very good. You guys, you guys are good. All right. Oh, All right, here we go. Maybe I've stalled long enough. There's our dash. We'll put our dash a little higher. So we won't get confused. Okay, don't get confused. There's our dash for our definition. 
All right, Izzy. The number that is taken away from another number. Very good. All right, everybody on the back of your sheet, okay? You got that, you got that blank sheet. All right. Write the definition. Go. I did it already. All right, good. Let me see it. Good job. All right. Okay, good. All right, and then we'll turn those in. And we'll see how we did. All right, thank you. What's our word again? What's the definition? A number that is... All right, let's say the definition. Let's say the word in the definition one more time. Say it with me. Subtrahend, the number that is taken away from another number. All right, good. Good job. Can I close this?